In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply the auto-tune effect to your voice in Audacity. Okay, so um, because I don't want this tutorial to be too long, I've made a separate tutorial on how to download and install the VST plugin that we are going to be using for this tutorial, GSnap. But um, if you already have that installed, then you just go ahead and watch this tutorial on how to auto-tune your voice, how to get that T-Pain effect on your voice in audacity so let's jump right in okay so if you are watching this tutorial right now it means that you already have the the g snap plugin that we're going to use for this tutorial you know audacity doesn't have auto tune by default you have to install the g snap plugin so i'm assuming you already have the g snap plugin so we'll go ahead to you know apply auto tune so in order not to make this um, tutorial too long i'm going to import the vocal the vocal and the instrumental that i'm going to be working with so i'll go ahead and import import audio um okay okay this is the instrumental let me go ahead and import the the vocal. I've already recorded it just to make it faster so we don't spend too much time on this tutorial. Okay. Okay, so we have the instrumental and we have the vocal. Let's listen to it. You were right in front of me yet I couldn't see it Struggling I see you in my dreams, mother of my kids. All right. Okay. So this is the the vocal and the instrumental that I'm going to work with. Now, um, so what will happen is I'm going to duplicate this track and keep the original without the auto tune, so that we can compare the effects before and after. So let me duplicate this control d or command d depend on your operating system okay so i'm going to mute this first track the one that's going to be our before so now this is the one we are going to apply auto tune on okay so i select the track and then go to effects and then i'm looking for my g snap like i said g snap is the auto tune plugin it's the vst plugin that allows you now to be able to do this you need to know the key of the song so for me i for me i have a keyboard um app on my phone i used to check the key of the song so if you already know the key of the song that's fine but if you don't you might have to want to select the key manually so you come and select select a scale then you are going to be selecting you are going to be trying them manually to see the one that works so i already know the key of the song but before that let me just show you what it feels like to select the, the key manually supposing you do not know what the key is so maybe i, I start with um, a okay and then i play it so to the you were right in front of me yet i couldn't see it strongly night and day you never left my side and that sounds good but i'll just go ahead and use the key of the song i already know the key of the song that's um it's on d okay i see you in my dreams mother of my kids. okay now this is where the magic happens so you can open your g snap and then nothing is happening in fact the first time the first tutorial i ever saw on how to do this I watched the tutorial and I still did not get it because I opened the G snap and then I was looking at all these knobs, mean frequency, max frequency, gate, speed, and all of this. I didn't understand anything here. So I didn't know what to do. I was just turning the knobs and playing around and fooling around, but it wasn't working. So what you would do now, this is like a basic default setting. Okay. So you are going to go ahead and copy out these settings. Um, okay, or you can check the descriptions. Check the description. I'm going to write out the settings. Main frequency, 
I usually start with 50 and listen to it and then take it to 100, depending on the song, okay? But for maximum frequency, I leave it max at 2000 hertz. Then the gate minus 50 dB, speed 1. Then make sure you select snap to selected notes. Then threshold 100 cents, the amount 100%, attack 1 millisecond, release 1 millisecond, pitch bend 0, vibrato 0, um, vibrato speed 0 0.1, calibrate 444 hertz. If you have these settings, you are going to see the results in your auto tune. There is no two ways about it. But if you don't like it, again, if you are changing this frequency, the minimum frequency, you will be seeing the effect. But if you change it too much, your, your auto tune may become too much and your voice will be sounding robotic. So you want to try as much as possible to keep it um, keep the voice natural. So these settings work fine, but again, like I said, you can play around these settings to give you the results that you want, depending on your voice. We all have different voices, and these different voices will require different auto-tune levels to get the result that you want. But if you do this, you will definitely see a result. You will definitely see results in the effect. So now let's go ahead and apply this. Okay, and um, let's listen. You were right in front of me, yet I couldn't see it. Struggling night and day, you never left my side. I see you in my... Awesome. Okay, let me go ahead and mute out the instrumental so that you can actually hear it and see the difference. You were right in front of me, yet I couldn't see it. Okay, let's compare it with the first one without auto tune. You were right in front of me, yet I couldn't see it. You hear that? That's without the auto tune. Now let's listen to it with the auto tune. You were right in front of me, yet I couldn't see it. That's it. So you see the difference. You see the difference. So you can go ahead. You play around with the settings to get the results that you want. All right. So that's how you use auto tune in Audacity. You were right in front of me, yet I couldn't see it. Struggling night and day, you never left my side. I see you in my dreams, mother of my kids. That's it, guys. I hope you found this tutorial valuable. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Let YouTube know that this video is profitable and can show it to more people. And do not forget to subscribe if you are new on this channel so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video tutorial. So um, that's it, guys. See you in the next one. Cheers.